phylum echinodermata this is echinodermata exclusively marine like tinophora like hemichordata like cartilaginous species they are exclusively marine adult radially symmetrical larva bilaterally symmetrical they are spiny skinned animals they are exclusively marine they are spiny skinned animals they have organ system level of organization larva bilaterally symmetrical adult radially symmetrical they are triploblastic coelomate organism digestive system complete they have a water vascular system umbra crust system two feet are present helps in locomotion respiration food capture etc etc they have a water vascular system or ambulacral system that is different from canal system of sponges excretory systems are absent circulatory systems are absent sexes are separate development indirect means larval stages are there some larval stages are pentacrinoidea echinococcus this type villiger larva trochophore larva are there starfish astrias they live in sandy and rocky part of the sea in the indian tidal rocky zone body consisting of five radiating arms they are present in the intertidal belt of rocky substratum sea cucumber holothuroidea cucumeria one of the striking feature of sea cucumber is evisceration when sea cucumber is disturbed it eject the whole intestine out that is called as evisceration it is an escape mechanism it is an adaptation mechanism sea urchin echinis Sea urchin have a spiny skin. They have a mouth. Aristotle's landian for grinding the food particles. Their larva is called as echinoputius. They have Aristotle's landian. Sea lily, antidon, feather star. They have a remarkable feature of self-sacrifice of an organ. Self-sacrifice of an organ is called as autotomy. That lost organ is regeneration. Regeneration is a phenomena shown by Echinodermata, especially brittle star. Ophiura, then brittle star. So all these animals are exclusively marine. They are radially symmetrical, larva bilaterally symmetrical. Circulatory system is absent. Echinis, starfish, cucumeria, then brittle star. All this comes under the phylum Echinodermata. They have a larva stages so development is indirect they are living in rocky places of uh, coastal sea so they have aristotle's land in somehow somehow exhibit uh, evisceration they show autotomy they show regeneration this is the characteristic feature of phylum echinodermata <laughs>